awesome. Woohoo! We've totally transformed our set. This is great. Um, we have Candace Stimmel. Sorry, it's not nice to point. Um, we have Candace Stimmel from uh, from OU, and then we also have Curtis Mason. Sorry, I feel like I'm pointing. I'll point up. Uh, with OSU, guys, thanks so much for being here. We're talking about, obviously, College Colors Day, which is tomorrow to kind of, kind of kick off football yeah. season. What exactly yeah. is this, and where did this holiday originate? Sure. Well, College Colors Day is a promotion that um, just gets all of our fans really excited about the start of football season. Um, it's a way for them to show their support. Uh, we encourage fans to post pictures of themselves on their social media, wearing their favorite school's uh, gear and colors, and then use hashtag college colors and hashtag for us, it would be Boomer Sooner, mm -hmm. maybe go pokes yeah. for our, our friends in Stillwater. But um, yeah, it's just a really fun way for fans to get pumped up about the season. Uh, check out collegecolorsday.com for more info. How long has this been going on? It seems like, well, to be yeah. honest, I started as a sports reporter, so every day for me was college day, <laughs> yeah. college yeah. sports day. Um, yeah, I'm right. I'm in my alley here. If we could just keep the set like this at all times, that'd be great. Um, but how long has this been going on, and is it a nationwide thing, or is this an OU OSU thing? Yeah, yeah, it's really a nationwide thing. It's kind of organized by our agency, the Collegiate Licensing Company in Atlanta, and so it's all the universities participate. We're really lucky here in Oklahoma because our fans are so passionate about whether it's OSU or OU. But other schools, they don't have necessarily the passion for wearing the colors like they do. Mm -hmm. uh, so our fans, you know, they usually show up on, on Friday and then on game days with their colors. But uh, it's really a national promotion, you know, organized by the Collegiate Licensing Company and re national retailers uh, and licensees get on. It's really the kickoff of college football, the kickoff of the school year. Uh, so it's really that launching point to begin everything for the academic season. Got a lot of awesome stuff here too. What all is this and where do, where do people get, get all of this? Yeah, I mean, we just brought a variety of stuff. I mean, uh, we've, we've got such a great selection of officially licensed product. Um, I, we were just talking, um, you know, offset about how cool it is that in college you really get a great mix of unique product oh, gosh, um, that you yes. might not always get um, maybe with professional teams. So we have a lot of really cool things from jewelry to shoes, cowboy boots, uh, signs, t-shirts. Um, there are some it. sneakers down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the cowboy some, boots. Yeah, yeah, the cowboy boots, the sneakers. This thing is convenient. <laughs> I can just point to everything. Direct traffic with that thing. But you mentioned the, is it official licensing gear? I think a lot of people wonder about that because you see kind of these yeah. boutiques selling different stuff and it's mm -hmm. darling, but there's there's a difference between official, official gear. Yeah, so we, I mean, with all of our products, there's a label on it. We really promote look for the labels. So there's a hologram label on all the items that distinguish it is officially mm -hmm. licensed. Uh, what that really means is each uh, item that's sold, a portion of that proceeds uh, goes back to the university and it helps support whether it's university programs, uh, you know, scholarship fund, uh, different initiatives the university is trying to accomplish there. And so that makes it, you know, legitimizes it, makes sure it's licensed, makes sure it goes through the official process through our licensees, you know, the sourcing of it. Uh, so we really want people to look for that label and know that they're buying stuff that's licensed by each university uh, mm -hmm. and, and not, you know, the other counterfeit goods. Counterfeit, yeah, okay, yeah. good information there. I've seen that too with the Oklahoma City Thunder with yeah. things where they're not licensed to be using yeah. that logo. Really quickly, we are running out of time. Your favorite item out of everything we have here? Oh my gosh, well I have to give a shout out to our There's Only One Oklahoma shirt. That's our official fan tee for the okay. year. We've also got a hat that matches it, so we want, um, it's available in, in crimson and in white, so for our Stripe the Stadium game, fans can go out and sure. pick that up. It's it's my favorite. Okay. And how the can pokes. you not love the Anderson Bean Boots? We're in Oklahoma. These are amazing. Yeah. So Those that's got to be my favorite item. I've um, been to a game with, with T. Boone Pickens, and he has some OSU Cowboy Boots yes, that are he does. pretty slick. <laughs> Probably pretty expensive yeah. as well. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. For Thanks for having us. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is <laughs> so much fun. I love it. And we do want to remind everybody, speaking of wearing your college colors and supporting the team, the number three Sooners will take on the 15th ranked Cougars on Saturday. That game is airing right here on KOCO 5. Make sure you join us before we're going to kick off with a star-studded pregame show. Um, Adrian Peterson, that name should ring a bell for Sooner fans or for football fans anywhere. He will be joining us live on the show at 10 a.m. You don't want to miss it. It is officially here, the best time of the year, college football season. Don't forget to wear your colors tomorrow. And the hashtags, Boomer Sooner. And is it Go, go Pokes? Go okay. Pokes. All right. Yep. We got it. Guys, thank right. you so thank much. Thank you very much. KOCO 5 News, back after this.